Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass your exams in half the time. So let's have a look at V-speeds and the easy rate to remember them. Now, one of the things I teach in the five day challenge is that you really should associate things with things you already know, okay? Now, some of this is logical and some of it you just need to do by association. So Heather, thanks for your question. Um, I love answering questions because it tells me exactly what other students are probably struggling with. So let's have a look at it. V and E, it's a self-explanatory one. E, N, E, never exceed, okay? So in other words, that's a red line at the top of your arc. It's the top of the caution arc. Now the, the red line is the never exceed. The yellow is the caution arc. In other words, just fly there in smooth conditions. And the green arc is normal operation. So V and O means the top of normal operation. So the top of the green arc is, is V and O, okay? The top of normal operation. So can't, V and O is a speed, so it can't be the whole of the green arc. So therefore it must be the top. And that's the way you need to remember it. VA, okay? Remember this, it's maneuvering speed, but how to remember it's maneuvering speed? It should be VM, right? Remember it, VA, VA for acceleration acceleration in different directions okay so if you're going to turn you need to add lateral accelerations right or if you're going to um, pull back on the stick or push forward then you need to add vertical accelerations so VA means to accelerate the aircraft in a different direction in other words maneuver it so just remember those two terms and associate acceleration with maneuvering and you will remember that now VLO and VLE, so VL means landing, right? How do you remember what VLO and VLE are? Okay, well, first of all, you need to know what they are. So the reason we need two for our landing gear is this. The landing gear is much stronger when it's locked in the down position, okay, once it locks in. So therefore, we need a speed that it can be locked in at. What is the absolute maximum speed that can be at? And therefore, the other thing is, what is the maximum speed if it's not as strong that it can be operated at? So let me give you an example. If, for example, at 100 knots, when it's locked in, if you went 105 or 10 or 15, it would break off. So they give you a, a um, VLE, the max speed you can go with that leaning gear down would be, say, 100 knots. Then obviously our VLO, where we operate, so LO, mean leaning gear operation, so in other words, switching it up and down is going to be lower, right? So that's how you remember that. Landing gear operation means to switch the landing gear on and off. Landing gear exceed is the same as V and E, never exceed. Okay, there's a bit of a pattern here developing. And it's going to be the same when we get down to flaps. Okay, so um, VX and VY. Now... You just have to remember that X and Y is, you know, to do with a graph and X, anything to do with VX and VY is to do with climb. You just need to remember that. VX and VY is graph and climb. Now, VX, okay, when we talk, we need to mentally associate it with something else. So remember, whenever we talk about a triangle or an angle, we always say angle X equals Okay, if we're going to name a number, then we use other letters. I won't say them because I don't want to confuse you. But if, when we're talking about one angle, we generally say angle X equals. So that's an easy way to remember that VX means the climb angle. As long as you remember VX and VY are climb. Now VY, what I like to mentally associate, associate it with is Y. Okay, Y climb. Okay, so why would you climb at a certain speed? Because you want to get there in the shortest possible time. Okay, so in other words, the best climb rate is going to be VY. Why? Because you want to get there in the shortest possible time. Now let's look at flap operation. Now flap, we've got VF and VS and VS1 or VSO. Uh, and VS1. Now VFE is pretty easy, you know, flap extension, it's the same as V and E and VLE. So in other words, V and E never exceed that with the plane, VLE never exceed that with the landing gear, VFE never exceed that with the flaps down. 
Now, VSO and VSR1, and then you have VS2 and VS3 in really large heavy aircraft, so they'd have a secondary uh, speed for perhaps flap stage two and uh, flap stage three or with slats out or whatever else. So what you need to remember here, this is the least logical of the whole lot, okay? What you need to remember here is that is it, this is the least logical. So in other words, if it was logical, we'd remember it like this. 0, 1, 2, 3. In other words, 0 would be clean, 1 would be uh, stage 1 flaps, 2 would be stage 2, 3 would be stage 3. Just remember the VSO 1, 2 and 3 are really illogical. They're in the wrong order. Okay, so 2 and 3 are okay, but 0 and 1 are back to front. They're wrong. And if you associate that, you'll remember it. So VSO is in landing configuration and VS1 is clean. And if you remember it that way, you will remember all of these. So let me just race through them again to reinforce. Okay, VNE, never exceed, self-explanatory. VNO, normal operations, self-explanatory, as long as you remember, it can only be one speed and not a whole arc, okay? VA, acceleration, just remember, to change directions, you have to accelerate in a certain direction. VLs, they're all to do with landing, and O means ops, E means the same as VNE, the same as VFE, okay? Never exceed, never exceed, never exceed. VX and Y, X, when we talk about um, angles, we always talk about X. So X is climb angle. Y, why would you want to climb? Okay. VFE, self-explanatory, flap expansion, the same as VNE, the same as VLE. And then when you get your VSO and your VS1, just remember the flat speeds are all messed up. Okay. It's illogical and, and it's in the wrong order and then you'll swap those two around. If you do that, you'll remember it all. So good luck. Thanks for listening. Matt from Pilot Practice Exams, where you can pass in half the time.